going on everybody i want to thank you all for stopping by and pushing play and watching me do what i love to do so if you haven't subscribed please do and go ahead and hit that like button and if you tap that post notification bell you will be notified every time i upload a new video which i do shoot for once a week this week was a little different uh my son graduated high school and we uh spent some time with him doing some things so so i'm a little late with this video but i'm sure you can forgive me for that reason but my name is angie and i'm this is angie uploaded so i want to tell everybody that this video is for entertainment purposes only always do your own research and form your own opinions just as i have this is clearly my opinion from the research that i have done so today's video is a follow-up video from uh, the chrisley trial todd and julie so if you saw my first video and if you haven't watched it you might want to go watch it first uh it tells <clears throat> why todd and julie I had to go to court so Todd and Julie Chrisley best known for the TV show Chrisley knows best on the USA Network have now been found guilty of bank fraud and tax evasion they each face up to 30 years in prison and I'm assuming being it was a federal charge it will be a federal prison um, but I'm not a lawyer. I, I have nothing to do with the law. So if anybody knows, let me know if, if they would have to go to a federal prison, but I would think they would. Um, so this all happened after a three week trial, uh, which occurred in Atlanta, Georgia. The jury began deliberating on Friday, uh, June the 3rd and on June the 7th, which was a Tuesday. That's when they found them guilty on all counts. So the Chrisleys were accused of inflating their net worth and they were seeking loans from smaller banks to fund their lifestyle. So basically they would go into the smaller or allegedly, even though they were found guilty, allegedly would go into these smaller banks and on their, their financials, they were fluffed to make it look like they had more than they they actually did so the bank felt secure in giving them loans so that that's what the the everything is about that it's come out that these this paperwork was fraudulent so they ended up with more than 30 million dollars in fraudulent loans when, and Todd filed for bankruptcy in 2012. And when doing that, he erased $20 million in loans, just. So all, all of the 20 million in debt was erased. And they were also accused of dodging taxes as early as 2009 and having skipped a $500,000 tax bill that year. Now I can say that they were also um, in court from the state of Georgia for a tax issue and they actually won that one. So I thought that maybe there was information that was within that court proceeding that would roll over into this one because there's something kind of fishy in this one to me and i don't say i love the chrisleys i love chrisley knows best so i am trying my best not to be biased but i'm trying to just figure it all out in my head so anyway the prosecutor argued that once their tv show chrisley knows best began that they attempted to hide the millions they made from the government. 
Now, Carrie Farley, special agent in charge for the FBI in Atlanta, she said, when you lie, cheat, steal, justice is blind to your fame, fortune, and your position. Now, their accountant, Peter Tarantino, he was also convicted for filing false corporate tax returns for them. Now, to be fair, Bruce H. Morris, which is the Chrisley's attorney, he argued that the Chrisley's had been unaware that an employee overseeing Chrisley Asset Management had been defrauding the government in 2012. And this is when they fired the employee. The attorney also alleged that the employee, who is Mark Braddock, had since provided further info on the Chrisleys to the U.S. Attorney's Office in order for federal immunity. And AP reports that, of course, Morris plans to appeal this decision, right? Now, I will say that the U.S. District Judge Eleanor Ross has allowed the Chrisleys to remain out on bond as long as their location is monitored and they report any um, expenditure over $1,000 to their probation officer. The sentencing is set for October the 6th of this year, 2022. So I'll be interested to see what happens there and with the appeal process. Now, Todd and Julie have said that they were devastated and disappointed by the guilty verdict. They faced 12 counts of bank and wire fraud and actively pursuing appeal. Now, Julie's lawyer, Steve Friedberg told Fox News Digital, they are grateful for all of the love and support they have received from their family, friends, and fans. And I'm sure they are. That's it. They remain strong in their faith and are deeply concerned for the well-being of and welfare of their children, as well as Todd's mother, Faye Chrisley. I love Faye. They are determined to continue to fight while justice prevails and they are exonerated. Now, Todd and Julie together were convicted of conspiracy to commit bank fraud, bank fraud, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and tax fraud. Julie was also convicted of wire fraud and obstruction. Now, Lindsay Chrisley, who is Todd's daughter from a previous marriage, she posted on her Instagram, the verdict is not what I had hoped or prayed for. I am deeply saddened for myself, my son, and my family as a whole. <clears throat> now, remember when I said that they had been cleared of the tax ordeal with the state. Now this actually happened in 2019. They were cleared of tax evasion in Georgia for over $2 million because later it was revealed that they actually overpaid. I have questions. And I'm not trying to see this again as, through the eyes of a fan, but, and, and I do believe that I don't care who you are, whether you're a celebrity or, you know, Joe Bob and Mary Sue, that you should always keep your eye on your money. Did somebody do this without them knowing anything? I keep going back to when they were cleared 
and they actually overpaid their taxes for the state. I mean, was any of it a mix-up? But I kind of get the feeling, too, that when the federal law dogs come after you, they're not coming to lose. So they've got something, you know. And that's how I would feel with any case that went to a federal level. Like, <laughs> you got the fed, the feds after you, dude. You, you know what I mean? They're not coming there to have egg on their face, right? Do I like it? No. Now, of course, if you do the crime, you do the time. And I'm a firm believer in that one. Am I upset about it? Yeah, I am. I. It. But, and, and from the last video, I can see that those that have watched and commented have varying, very varying opinions on the situation. So, um, I want to know what you think about the whole situation. I... It's hard to say, do you think they're guilty? I mean, well they, well, they were found guilty. But do you think the appeal process will work for them in federal court? How much time? If And if not, if they do actually have to go to prison, um, how much time do you think they'll get for all of this? You know, out the door, really. So... I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say about it. But anyway, guys, that is all that I have for this video. I want to thank you again for pushing play and going ahead and liking and subscribing. It means so much to me. And again, my name is Angie and I have just uploaded.